that's not the ones I wanted. Where are they? There they are. I'll just switch this over to this. Oh, I can't believe that. I can't believe both of those missed. I missed and then the dog missed. Sanctum Ace is plus 10. I did upgrade it. That was supposed to be a jumping attack. And today my jumping attacks just aren't getting along. Out of stamina. It's got the... I like that... I like that rolling attack. Actually, it's pretty good. Another one of those should finish it. Okay. Uh, let's use. Oh, I thought it was in a different menu. Let's use one of these to heal. Can I use resins on this thing? I thought I could. I can. Neat. Alright, I'll use a resin on the boss as well. Alright, get up already. him down so I can get up. Aw. Oh, ran out of stamina on the ladder. Gonna have to do a bit of extra kiting here for a second. Let's not run this time so that when I get hit, oh, I don't lose more stamina. Okay. Now the rest is, and then I just gotta pop one of these. And now we're ready. Let's try this out. Oh. And now we wait. Exciting. I gotta keep an eye on him. He's too central. I did not need to guard right there. Man, I'm not used to the recovery time on this yet. That should be dead. Yep. Alright. I do have magic resin. <laughs> Actually, since I need to update my resin anyway, let's switch to that. Okay, good, he fell. Aw, oh, I can't believe that missed. Okay. Oh, I thought that was going to hit. Well, he's close to dead. I wish he'd thrown the shield already. And there's two down. Oh no. <laughs> it's about to break. So, I guess I'll switch over to something here real quick. Oh, this thing's not upgraded. Oh, nice, thanks.
There we go. Oh, it's at plus one. It is upgraded. The the icon for it is just different from every other resin. That always screws me up when I'm trying to look for it. Uh, let's see. I think I'll try out my new Lois Great Sword for the rest for the next bit of this. Yeah, I don't normally I don't have too many weapon durability issues. It seems to be popping up a lot this time though. It's a good thing I know how to menu well. Ooh. The range on that is really good. I remember why I like this weapon a lot. I really just came down here for him. I don't need a. Um, I don't. I don't need the large club or priest chime or, or the bell bros. Okay, next section. Yeah, I remember when the weapon durability bug used to be extra bad. That's when I actually used two weapons per playthrough. <laughs> Every area needed me to swap out, and I would usually swap out right before a boss. I decided to just let me kill him. Uh, let's go this way. have the covetous plus one. So I don't I just don't feel like going for the gargoyles. Get a couple free hits in there before I poke him to death. There are a couple bosses I'm gonna kinda prioritize when I get to their areas though. I would love to have oh, I can switch this out. I would love to have the Clorinthy plus two. I guess that's the only boss I'm gonna prioritize, because the rest of them are main path bosses. I'm gonna get the Ring of Blades plus two. And I'm gonna try to do it the legit way without without despawning one of the pursuers. Because I've done it before. And it's a decently challenging fight. So I might as well. Oh. I thought that was going to explode. I wonder if throwing knives still one-shot these guys. Yep. Yeah, I've only beaten the... I've only beaten the dual pursuers by myself without without despawning one of them. I think three times? And I've killed them a lot of times. So three out of three out of that many is not that great of a record. Yeah, I'm playing this on PC. Um I actually don't need straight at all. I can always just warp to Salt Fort.
actually wondered what my soul memory is. I haven't been paying attention at all. 3.3 is still actually within, well within good PvP range. It's actually, it's interesting that I haven't actually skyrocketed. And there go the gargoyles. Off to sit at the bell tower. Glad they took out the other two guys that were here. Because that bonfire used to be really annoying. There's that guy down. Normally a guy comes running out of there. There he is. Now here's the thing I always found a bit funny, is how good the texture is here, and then how awful the texture is right here. It's like you can just stand here and compare them. And it's pretty glaring how low res this one is compared to the other. I, th I just thought it was kind of funny because the player is going to come down here and see this. So I don't know why they didn't put more effort into it, especially even with Scholar of the First Sin coming out. Down we go. Now down here I remember there being red phantoms. So this could get this could get difficult. Uh I'm not gonna summon Luke and Teal. No real reason to. Oh, they added these guys back in. They took him out in the scholar. So it's nice that they're back. I haven't had the chance to use this strat on them in forever. Either you just stand next to them for them to do that arm swipe and then back off. And it won't hit you. And you get free attack, but you gotta watch out for that. That was supposed to be a jumping attack. And this over here is the Blossom Kite Shield that I've been wearing. Oh, well that was me not paying attention. I was hoping I was far enough away that I could just not roll there. Oh good, he wasn't going to do the spin right there. After that attack he can do this kind of 360 crazy spin. And that gets pretty dangerous. The safest place to fight this guy is just back up to the stairs. He can't come through these doorways. The weird there's the spin. The weird abomination thing I was fighting earlier can go up through the stairs. I actually used to use a strategy at one point where I would come back here and make him fall down the pit where that elevator is. Oh, is that another one back there? Yeah it is. Oh, I thought that would have killed him. 